Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, uh, we have a long awaited ROM for Redmi Note 8. So this time we have HyperOS for Redmi Note 8 and it's based on Android 13. So let's go and check out what's going on with this ROM. First of all, uh, as you can see, uh, I have been using this ROM for three, four days now and I tried everything from whatever I need to try on this ROM. And actually it's not really a great ROM. It's and but still if anyone want to follow the whole video you can follow so let's go check out what's going on so in the home screen you can change a lot of thing in home screen ui and and do it like uh in hyperverse they have short few things here and there those things you can do and fingerprint is working just fine but there is no face unlock feature here although the face unlock feature is inside the setting there is face unlock feature but it doesn't work so there is one bug with the face unlock but other than that everything is working just fine even you can change the icon uh, in the locker screen so that's also good so let's go with other things first of all we will go to our setting and check out what's going on so going with the setting and as you can see it's slow the rom is slow actually it's not that not really fast so my device so as you can see hyper os by Mackey. so this is a better version of it so there will be actually it will be improved in later on but but for now, it is not really a worthy custom ROM for Redmi Note 8. I think there is much better ROM available for this Redmi Note 8. And also it is based on Chinese variant of HyperOS. So you will see here at there Chinese languages. Now as you can see here also have Chinese languages. So it's based on Android 13 as you can see here. The security patch level also you can see here. 231001 so this is a beta one maybe 1.2 there will be 1.3 already available maybe i don't really know but i will put the link in the description below if you want to check out you can check out from there and if you want to install this rom you can install so going with the other things as you can see here the the setting panel is pretty much similar to what you will get with the miui and there is only little bit difference in notification panel the notification panel is a little bit different than miui but it's still pretty much similar and also there are few options like me smart hub i don't really know uh, it doesn't work like the, the what xiaomi is doing right now is pretty much similar to what huawei did with their os like huawei harmony os from their emui from here miui to uh what it called hyper u hyper OS. so pretty much similar things going on but it is not really pretty different than what you will get with miui maybe a uh, little bit trick here and there that's it but miui is still better for this kind of devices if you really want to use like hyper OS, maybe you can install but it doesn't worth your time that's it so going with other things there is another section here interconnectivity Oh, which is similar thing I have showed on you the notification panel I don't have anything like that to try it out I do have Mi Band maybe it will not show here I don't have any kind of earbud or anything like that to try it out so going with other things wallpaper and personalization this one uh, this ROM does come with like AOD but it doesn't work so I did turn on the AOD but it doesn't work so let's try it turn it on and select this one okay apply so apply it successfully now let's see it work or not so as you can see i already doesn't work on this rom okay useless feature here going with other things so as i said that you can change uh ui on your lock screen so you can change from here actually so if you go it's quite nice miui looks very nice actually or whatever hyper version miui pretty similar so it's pretty nice as you can see here but really slow in particularly in this device so pretty slow but you can change uh, like if i change here apply this one okay apply it now let's let's check so it's there now okay so that's one is also working going with other things like uh, you can download themes from here you no need to like log into your me account you can directly download it from here but there is one issue with these things actually so if you go to the theme section here like okay theme section if i try to download so sometime this ui will load but sometime it doesn't load even you it will be loading always you can't download anything so pretty much most of the time it doesn't work sometime it does work but most of the things in like chinese so it doesn't work as you can see the font also in chinese let's try to download a dynamic wallpaper maybe this one download 
so it's downloading now and it's downloaded apply it so we have applied the dynamic wallpaper okay so but as i said it doesn't work all the time so sometime it will work the ui will directly work so as you can see now it's working just fine no issue with that and now another thing about this rom like the ui issues so if i go here and tap on the home screen so they will allow us to select wallpaper from here so there are super wallpaper available so if i try to download this wallpaper these are the wallpaper which came with maybe me ui 13 based ui then but you cannot download this actually so it doesn't work so i don't know why but sometimes it does work sometimes doesn't so as you can see here the theme application is not working anymore it's just showing just a second it's pretty much similar every time so this issue also here in this rom going with the other things the, the the ui is pretty much similar to what you will get with the MIUI, nothing else so there is other things like that and also this rom does come with a uh, play store so we do have play store here and rather than that few application here and there that's it there's nothing going on and also we have app vault which is also in chinese here there is nothing thing and one thing good about this rom actually uh like when i when i have uh restored my application all the application working just fine no issue with that so that's good actually and going with the issues there is one more issue here so maybe you cannot like go to the privacy and security section here so you cannot use privacy and security section and going with other things brightness and like auto brightness and proximity sensor those are working pretty well there is no issue with that and also i could i did not find any kind of skin retention issue on this rom working really great with that there are refresh rate setting which doesn't work because we have a 60 hertz display and also there are few things you can change like color scheme and other things usually it is in vivid mode but i don't really like that but anyway it's in depend on the person who is using and going with the fingerprint and security as i said face unlock that will allow you to like but it doesn't like work i don't really know why it doesn't work but anyway face unlock start the camera doesn't work in in this particular point when it comes so okay as you can see the camera is like loading camera it doesn't work so it's like that the face unlock also not working but fingerprint is pretty well working there is no issue with that going with the other issues is the battery backup battery backup is not really good miui is actually really good for battery backup i have personally used miui for very long time not in this device but my old me like maybe in redmi note 4 and note 6 i have used for long time miui but in this case in this rom uh, like the, the battery backup is pretty bad so it's not worthy to reinstall this rom battery backup is bad but one thing good is that the gaming experience so gaming experience on this rom was quite good with me um i did play games here a little bit but yes it's 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 quite good not really like a custom rom you will get with like evolution x or other rom but pretty much for a like uh, ui hyper os ui which is pretty new and like it's just released so quite good for that actually it's working pretty great here even better than miui uh, rom maybe because of uh, they have like reduced most of the application like uh, inbuilt application they have already unins uninstalled and that's just few of them are here so that's why it's working perfectly fine and also we are getting like let latest version of miui camera which is also working perfectly fine here as you can see everything works here maybe in the video section it doesn't work i don't really remember when it doesn't work but it's working just now fine rather than that maybe portrait is not working i don't really remember yes the portrait is not, not working as you can see and it closed so portrait lens is not working but uh, if you install gcam here gcam will work perfectly fine yes gcam also working perfectly fine no issue with the gcam and you can take portrait with gcam other than that there is nothing new to talk about actually just only whatever you are getting is with the notification panel and you are getting android 13 that's it there is nothing new but still if you really want to install this custom rom i will put link in the description below you can download it from there and flash it so that's all about hyper os for redmi note 8 and if there is new 
version of this rom come out i will definitely review so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time